All right, hello again. Uh, today I'm going to teach you a nifty trick. I'm going to show you how to uh, slightly remove wrinkles from a photo. Uh, let's go ahead and use the photo of this old person. Let's call her mom um, to remove some wrinkles. Um, I'm not going to do the whole, you know, uh, magazine cover kind of touch up. I'm just going to do some basic things like for example here you see a lot of wrinkles under the eye, um, you know, here on the side around the cheek. So that's what we're going to do. We're not going to make a sort of fake um, removing of the wrinkles, but we're just going to basically make it look as it would if the person had makeup. So what you want to do is basically you want to go to the lasso select and you want to highlight the area where you want to uh, remove the wrinkles. You want to highlight a little bit outside of the area but not too much. So this what I've done here you want to do something like that. What you don't want to do is go overboard you don't want to you know get the entire cheek or something like that. So this wouldn't work. Um, so we'll just highlight the area around the eyes like so and I'm going to do a little bit of the eyelid of the top eyelid and I'm just going to do one side to kind of show you the difference between uh, what it looks like with versus without and let's do the same for a few wrinkles here around the cheek All right, and um, Let's let's do the nose ridge, or at least a bit of the nose ridge. And I usually don't like doing the forehead, but just to show you what it looks like, let's do half of the forehead. And then we'll compare what that half of the forehead looks like versus the other half. So now that you've done that, it's pretty simple. You want to go to Effects Blur, and you want to use Fragment Blur. Um, and then you want to play around with the settings. Um, for me, I found that what works best is to have the fragment count at 5 and the distance at 10. And then you get a nice smooth uh, surface sort of like this. If you have very little fragmentation uh, as far as distance is concerned, then you don't really notice much of a difference. If you go overboard, then it just looks weird. Um, so let's go ahead and leave that at 10. 9, 10. Press OK, and now we look at the comparison. The left side uh, looks a little bit more youthful, um, not necessarily fake youthful, as much as you know we put makeup on it youthful. Versus the right side, which looks you know just normal. Um, so let's go ahead and reverse the process, and let's do this on both sides to kind of see the difference. I'm going to go ahead and copy the layer so you can see a before and after. Um, so we select the area around the eyes, like so. This time around we're doing both eyes and for you to uh, select another area you press the control key on your keyboard and then you select another area. If you don't press the control key then the selection disappears. All right, so you press the control key and then you select the area that you want like so a little bit here around the lips and then let's do the entire forehead Again, I don't usually do the forehead because it's a little bit tricky getting it right, especially around the eyebrows. But for this demonstration, let's go ahead and do it. Right. I'm going to call that good enough. And effects, blur, fragment, 510. All right. And there you go. That looks slightly more youthful. Alright, so um, after, before, after. So basically what we do is we blur the screen and it gives the effect of stretching 
the surface, right? And if, if you want to go overboard, if you really want to do that, then what you do is you essentially highlight the entire face minus the eyes and the lips, right? So let's just go ahead and do that. And some people actually like doing this, they like going a little bit overboard with the fragmentation and, and if, if that's you then that's cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that effect blur fragment. And the lips shouldn't have been highlighted, but whatever. Alright. And there you see the effect. Basically we've blurred out all of it. Um, it looks kind of wrong, so let, let's try it again without the lips. Alright, so I'm going to do undo. Without the lips and without the eyebrows. So you go ahead and select. Not the lips. Not the eyebrows. And the reason that you don't want to highlight the eyebrows, that you don't really want to highlight the eyebrows, is because um, the hair sprites, the sprites that make up the hair, are going to look a little bit weird once you fragmented them. I just go ahead and keep doing this, and I'm just kind of doing, um, you know, like I don't care what I select really, but um, you know, if you're doing this for a photo like if you actually are serious about doing this and you do want to be careful what you select you want to zoom in all the way and you know make sure that you get all the pixels etc all right well we've done that let's just go ahead and fragment effects blur fragment good enough deselect and there you go all right so that's it, and I will see you on my next video.